Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to use the texture application tool and the thing that is called displacement geometry. Um, what this is is that you make this with this tool you make this flat surface go from this to this. You make it bumpy and uh, yeah you make like hills and slopes and whatever. Um, yeah, so what you can do is you take this tool here, texture application tool, you select the surface that you want to change so you just click on the surface. You can also select several surfaces by calling control. But yeah, I'm gonna select just one surface and I'm gonna show you what you can do with several surfaces later. Okay, next thing you're gonna do when you press this texture application tool this window will pop up. You're gonna go in on displacement, then create. Here you select the power of um like um uh, uh, four is more detail, two is not so much detail, so you're gonna make four I'm gonna take four. Then I'm going, going, gonna go in on page geometry. Now we can remove this thing, and it will look like this now. Um, raise lower is like when you press left, the ground goes up. If you press right, the ground goes down. Raise two will raise the surface to a certain uh, unit, decided by the distance here. If I hear it, you see it goes up. Certain level, smooth will smooth it out. Like if you have it, the ground goes down here and it goes up here, it will smooth it out between these here. If I press between here, so yeah, it will smooth it out. And if you do it too much, it will remove every changes and make it flat again. And so yeah. Now we're gonna have it raised lower. Um, now you see the radius here. If I change the radius, the green thing uh, gets smaller. Now this green thing will decide <coughs> which surface, how much of the surface that will be changed. Now yes, this surface will be changed. If I change it, you see the green thing is really, really small here. So yeah, um, the distance is how many units the ground will go up and down, um, like every second you press. See here. If you have it higher, it will go up uh, faster. So yeah. And yeah, this could be a tricky part. So yeah. Um, also, you notice that it just goes up and down, not like left and right. This you change here by changing the axis to um, x-axis. I think is. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna test this another thing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something now. If you have a ground like that, wait, I'm just gonna do like this. Okay, now I have a face that looks like this. And you have, if you have these two in the same, you can see here down here. Now I have this one selected. Now I have the other one selected. You see, they are all in the same um, height. Then you can do like this. You select both of them by pulling down control. You select both of them. Then you press on displacement. You press C. Now we're gonna see how it looks like. This will automatically um, see it, so it don't, won't be any gap between them. So yeah. Also, when you have this, you, this can't be the ground. You have to make a um, like a, bl a brush under it because if you have, if you compile this map now, this will be a leak, a big leak. So if you have water in the map, this it won't work. So you need to make a ground under this. And this is also how it will look uh, in the game. It won't be anything here. So make a ground ground under it. And now I'm going to show you how to what you can do while selecting several surfaces. So okay, we're just going to make a little fast one block here.
Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna find it. It's above me. Okay. By selecting several surfaces when creating you see um, more sites will get saved also <coughs> if you raise this now we see I can just take down the radius because it's a very small object and I don't want it to move that much it move much now but it doesn't matter really matter And you see now it goes up, uh, like up and down here. But I don't want it to go up and down. I want it to go like. I want. Ah, uh, I can't really. Know. I don't really know what, which one it is. Say it. It also takes up and down. Yeah, this will take it to the right, uh, left, and right. And next will take it to the out and uh, in, whatever it's called. You see here. X will take it outwards. Y will take it left and right. Z will take it up and down. Face normal is also up and down. So yeah, and now you see it looks really strange, but this is how I want it to be, I mean. But I don't want the gaps. So what the easy thing with this is when you have several surfaces, is that you just you don't have to do anything, you just press zoom. And the zoom button is right here. Now it gets fixed. So it will look like this in game. So nice, but still, you don't have anything here, it won't be visible, it will be invisible. So you have to press brushes, you have to make brushes here. S otherwise it will look very strange in the map. And, yeah, this is how you make hills and slopes. If you want to know how to make, uh, like, this be mountain slash grass, watch my blend textures tutorial. And yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope it really helped. Yeah.